Okay, here we want to look at three um, logarithmic equations. We want to see how to solve for x uh, using logarithmic equations. So the first thing we need to know about logarithmic equations is that um, this number in the subscript is going to be the base. So we essentially have to rewrite the equation to get it on our terms. So the way we do that, we're going to say the base of 3 raised to the fourth power is equal to 5x plus 6. Remember, this is the base, 5x plus 6, that goes to the other side, and 4 is what we lift as the exponent. 3 to the 4th is equal to 81, is equal to 5x plus 6. Of course, we need to subtract 6 from both sides. That gives us 75 is equal to 5x. And when we divide both sides by 5, we get 15 is equal to x. It's just that simple. We want to take um, a logarithmic equation and change it into a basic algebra problem. Okay, on this next problem, if you notice, we don't visibly see a base. When we're working with logarithmic equations, if we don't see a base, it's going to be an understood 10. Understood 10. So that gives us 10 raised to the second power is equal to 4x minus 20. Okay. Now we have 100 is equal to 4x minus 20. That's minus 20, so we need to add 20 to both sides. That's 120 is equal to 4x. And of course, to get x by itself, we divide both sides by 4. So that's going to give us 30 is equal to x. Now, on this final problem, <clears throat> we need to look at another property. When we're dealing with logarithms, if you remember, anytime we see the plus, that means we have to multiply. If you um, saw a minus in between, you would have to divide. So we would have to rewrite this as log base 6, 5 plus x, um, times x, to give you 2. Remember, this is a base 6. Okay. Now, y'all, we're going to come down to this next line. And let's distribute. 5 plus x times x, that's going to give us x squared plus 5x is equal to 2. Remember, we just distributed x times 5 times x is 5x. And x times x gives us this x squared. Now we go back to um, doing this the way we did the previous problems. We're going to have to rewrite this. The base is 6. 6 to the second power is equal to x squared plus 5x. Let's put that back in here. That gives us 36 is equal to x squared plus 5x. Now, if you remember, we have to get 36 on both sides of, I'm sorry, we have to subtract 36 from both sides of the equation. That's going to give us 0 is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 36. So that turns into a problem that we need to factor. Uh, we need to find two numbers that can multiply to give you a negative 36, but whose sum gives you 5. So that's going to be x plus 9 and x minus 4. 
So if we remember, zero is equal to x plus nine. Therefore, negative nine is equal to x. And on this side, zero um, is equal to x minus four. Therefore, four is equal to x. But you know, there's one thing that we can remember. We cannot have a negative number with this law. So when we try to put this negative nine in, this will not work. Five minus nine will give you negative four. This is negative. But it would work with the five. So what we're going to do in this case, all right, we're just going to cross this one out. So our answer is x equal four. That's how we, um, that's just three different examples of logarithmic equations.